What I'm going to do, Commander, <laughs> is I'm going to. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, I know. I'll move this over there. That's easy. Ah, son. Oi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> You want to come out on the movie? Okay. Yeah, what? Oh. Uh, you, you, you're okay. So, I got a ring, yeah, or a hook, and I have a disc. And I am going to drop him. And uh, I'm going to ask you a question. Hey, it's that question, but like, it's just to get us started. And so, they have the same mass. And we can we can put them on a scale, so hopefully you will take my word for it. Same radius, and so we're gonna drop from from the same height. Which one will make it to the bottom first? This one. We'll make it okay, and uh, they have the same mass, okay? And so, but they do. What? Yeah, same mass. I I can put them on a scale. I can put them on scale. And so, <laughs> so, oh my God. who gets more? Yeah. Oh, it should be the same. Yeah, yeah, they have the same mass and same radius. Jose, you were saying which one is going to make it to the bottom first? I think the wood. Huh? I think the wood. The wood? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, they have different view. Okay, okay. Um, well, let's, let's drop them. Let's drop both of them. Ooh. Oh. Drag? Are we talking about drag? No, no, no. Ah, we're talking about inertia, yeah, so... Inertia is a uh, risk. It's Newton's first law of motion. You know, a body in motion uh, tends to stay in motion. A rest, it will remain at rest. So this one is rotational inertia. So it's that resistance to rotate. Yeah. And so if I drop him again, uh, look at this. And you can see. What if I in this way? So the the. Uh, black ring has greater resistance to rotation. That's correct. Yeah. It's, uh, the same mass. They have the same mass. I can, I can put them on a scale. I just because uh -huh. time goes so fast. Okay. Now, so let me ask you the same question. We're going to see why. Uh, so I have a. This is a, a like a toy <coughs> ball. Yeah. Thank you. So. What I did is I broke one of them apart, and uh, I took one of them apart, and uh, so, so this one is hollow on the inside, just like the disc. Yeah, this one is hollow, and uh, so I think I'm missing one part. It's probably inside, I think. So this one is hollow. It's a piece of metal, supposed to be magnetic, and uh, so it's the same as this one. Again, this one is hollow, this one is solid, same mass, same radius. This one, they have approximately the same radius. So, again, if I drop both of them, yeah, from the same height, uh, so which one will make it to the bottom first? Hey, you're in the movie. <laughs> so, which one? The solid one. The solid one? Uh, also, let's put it this way then. Let's take a look at it. And it, it is a solid one. Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's kind of difficult to keep it. Ah. That's why we invented the, the meter sticks, you know. So we put a little corner on the side. Okay, so so let's put them like this because this one is going that way. So I'm gonna keep it in place here. Okay. And, and you can see that uh, the solid one. Uh, so here's a the question then: Why do you think they have the same mass and the same radius? Radius. Why do you think they uh, this one makes it to the bottom? Not quite a resistance, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's too slow. Okay. Now look at this. <laughs> they have the same mass, but this one, yeah. That wooden one is solid, like completely wood? Completely solid, oh, yeah. Okay. And this one is hollow. The mass of this is evenly distributed, yeah, throughout. 
And uh, does that bend at all? How bold is it? I'm guessing that. No, oh, it's that's pretty heavy, though. Oh, it's heavy metal. Yeah, it was supposed to be the same mass. Yeah, you make it look like the switch. Huh? You make it, it looks, looks light. Yeah, uh, and, and you can tell right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go over the theory. And so, oh, I had another question that I was going to ask you. Oh. Okay, so I have Mama Shark and I have Baby Shark. So if, if I drop both of them, from the same high, which one will make it to the bottom? Let me put the center of mass. Of the, bigger the, shark dies the bigger one? Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be the same. It's supposed to be the same. That is a mathematical proof. Okay. Uh, so, it, you know what? It's difficult to put the center of mass at the same high. So, let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. yeah it, they, they go at the same. And there is a mathematical proof. Uh, so, so for this, now let's go over the theory of this, and then uh, we'll go from this. We'll go back. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to the drum on the floor. One, two. Uh, I'm glad you sit there by yourself because you talk too much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's fine. Okay. That's bowling. Do you want to redo the line? <laughs> for, for, for full credit, yeah? Full credit. yeah. It, now, you have to do it. You have to do it correctly, though. Compadre. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's let's go over the theory. So, okay, come on. And this is uh, oh, we're recording this. Remember, don't say any bad words, come because this is being recorded. Uh, Julio, especially you, come You have a foul mouth. <laughs> oh, okay. So th this is difficult for me. I, I'm <laughs> That'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea, Julio. Okay. So again, yeah, this is day eight. And uh, you say there the objective is to uh, calculate the moment of inertia of a particle or a system of particles. Now, um, I got some examples there, but let me go over the theory. Now, if I have a particle, let's say I have a particle right here, moving uh, at a constant velocity, uh, at a constant speed, sorry, Zero tangentially. Speed. Yeah. Uh, you know how AP physics 1 is 2D? Is AP physics 2 3D or also 2D? Uh, no, it's 2D. Yeah, because it's algebra based. Okay. The calculus base goes more into 3D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we saw this before. Uh, what was it? S equals R theta, and then we divided by T, we divided by T, and they gave us what? S divided by T, that's velocity, no? So velocity is R, uh, R uh, theta T. Oh, what's the change in theta divided by time? Omega. You guys remember that stuff? Oh, uh, yeah. So we're, we're trying to, to bring this thing back. So this is uh, tangential velocity. I'm going to call it T for tangential. And then if I divide this by time, and I divide by time, and so velocity divided by time gives me, it's actually change in velocity divided by change in time. That's acceleration. So we call this tangential acceleration or linear acceleration, and that's equals to, oh, uh, what's the change in omega divided by the change in time? Very good. That's alpha. Yeah, alpha. So, if I got tangential acceleration, I got the force uh, is equals to mass times acceleration. So, tangential force is equals to mass times tangential acceleration. This is sort of like a proof, kind of. 
So you don't, I cannot just, I can throw the formulas at you, but they will make no sense. They all have some logic to them. And so... Uh, the tangential acceleration different from centripetal acceleration. Right? That is correct. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, we have centripetal acceleration. We have tangential acceleration. And tangential is the same as linear. Yeah. And so I, I am going to replace this with this. So I got the uh, tangential is equals to mass times r times alpha, which is the angular acceleration. Uh, no, that's uh, force. Force is mass times acceleration, so tangential force okay. is mass times tangential acceleration. Yeah. And so I'm going to multiply both sides. Multiply uh, both sides by uh, R to get, and so we get uh, force multiplied by radius, again tangential force, is equals to mass times the radius uh, times the radius times alpha. Oh wait, but what's force times radius? We saw this before. What's force multiplied by radius? Torque. You're correct. So this is torque. Yeah. So this is torque, uh, or torque in the. Uh, oh, I was gonna do undo. Uh, so, and so they use lambda, and so that'll be mass times uh, radius square multiplied by alpha. Now look at this. I'm gonna rewrite this right here next to it. Okay. So force is equals to mass times acceleration. We saw earlier, we saw uh, earlier in the semester that ma yeah. Alpha is angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. Change in angular velocity divided by the change in time. So tangential acceleration is what tangential? You calculate it, uh, it it's, it's like a instantaneous velocity. It's instantaneous acceleration at that point. Oh. Yeah. Because remember, acceleration is changing velocity. Your velocity is changing. The fact that is the speed is not changing. Yeah. So the uh, uh, but the velocity is changing because it's changing direction. And that's what causes uh, all of these quantities. So it's so it just means yeah, it's like instantaneous kind of just at that point. Yeah. And so as it moves to this side, even if the, the speed is constant, the velocity is not. Because the velocity has got direction, the direction is changing, therefore it's got a tangential acceleration. Now, early in the semester we call this inertia. Yeah? Remember we said, uh, we even had some problems where we say, oh, which object has more inertia, the 3 kilograms or the 5 kilograms? So we said, well, inertia is a, is a way uh, you can represent it with mass. Because inertia is a resistance to, to, uh, to move or to change the state of motion. So take a look at this. So force equals a mass is acceleration. So force is equals to inertia multiplied times acceleration. Oh, look at this. So this must be rotational inertia. Oh, yeah. And so we call this rotational inertia. So rotational inertia of a particle is equals to the mass of the particle multiplied by the radius square. So this is our new terminology today. So if you have a particle rotating, it's got inertia. Oh, so we have this uh, object rotating, and it's got inertia. It's got some, uh, usually when there's time, we do a lab and, uh, and we calculate uh, the inertia by, uh, there is a way to, to calculate it doing a, a lab, yeah? We're short on time because of, because of the way the lesson is. Do you go to Roxana? Jackie? Yeah, okay. And so, oh, that was quick. So anyway, come on. Uh, we also call it, this is called rotational inertia, again, rotational inertia of a particle. 
This formula is only good for particles. Okay? So, come on, I'm going to take a phone call real quick. It's important to me. Uy, uy. I don't know how to use it. Mr. Duenas. Sí, sí está bien. 